Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be expanding this Lenovo X3650 Model 4 to uh, be able to handle 16 drives instead of the 8 drives that are in there today. The normal thing when you buy a server is that it's not fully equipped. You don't pay for a lot of extra stuff that you might never need. If you're gonna be working with virtual machines in a virtual environment with a SAN or something, you would never use all those 16 drives. You might even just be booting from a USB stick inside the server. So instead of you paying for the ability to have 16 physical 2.5 inches hard drives in your server, well, they take that out and you can buy that as an extra if that is what you need. And in the moment of buying a brand new server, that's not where the money is. Very often, that's it's a tiny amount they actually want uh, for you to do that change. But when you afterwards find out that, well, this server is not gonna be doing this anymore and it now has to do this task and now we suddenly need 16 disks, well, it's not as cheap. So I uh, went ahead some time ago and I bought an extension card for this server. This thing. It's a backplane with a built-in SAS expander. So it works this way that the SAS connection from your RAID controller comes in through these two plugs. Then it is expanded here and goes out to eight drives here and on to another eight drives that can be sitting over here. So it uh, more or less it expands two connections to four connections. I bought that, that was rather expensive. I paid, I believe it was just about, just over a hundred dollars for that. And um, well, it, it came as you see it here. I did a video on it and uh, yeah, something was missing. I was missing the power cable for it. I did this in a video last week where I told you that I had this power cable for a regular 8 port SAS backplane and well you need two of these because there is one here and there is one on the other car in there as well so um, I needed a new cable and if you buy this one from new I did not buy it from new I, I bought it refurbished and uh, that cable was missing but from new that cable will um, will be included I was looking for this cable and it was for sale somewhere it's not a thing that many people go out and put in an auction or anything on for a stupid little cable so um, the one I found was even more expensive than this card so um, but now I have one if you follow me on Twitter you would have seen this I posted this as the the first package I got in the new year so I got this from a local place here in Denmark called Kimber Computer. So um, it was fairly quick. It was the last thing I ordered in 2017 and the first thing I got in 2018. So in here is that cable. It's a Y cable, splitting split cable. So let's go see that. Okay, so here it is. The expander card plus backplane. The power connector for a regular if it's just this one we need to power. The problem is there's only one of these connectors on the motherboard or system board of the server. But as we need two, we need a split cable. And this is the split cable. It looks like this. So there is a P2 and a P3 connector. And in the comments of my last video, someone suggested that I could just split this myself and the, the, the thought had really crossed my mind if I could do that so um, I think we should have a look at that if that is possible if, um, if this just goes right through like these two connections are of course the same they have to go down no it's, they're not the same this one has a connector down there and this one has a connector there sorry this one has a connector there this one does not have a connector there so there is some difference here. As far as I can see, this is the same thing. Uh, there are pins to the right places, but well, they can cross over here and do weird stuff. 
Let's take it down into the basement and see what we come up with. Okay, here we are in the basement and I've been measuring out the single cable and it's a mess. Um, I have, well, it's not that messy, but this drawing is definitely a mess. I had the white connector, that one, I had the black connector, that one. The white connector has 14 um, pins and the black connector has 16 pins and well I had tried to uh, to put lines between them but well you can't get that it's just a mess right so I put the numbers over here pin 1 on the white connectors go to pin 3 on the black connector and so on um, down here we have a weird one pin 8 on the white connector goes to pin 5 and 13 and there are three of those 11 goes to 9 and 10 and 14 goes to 16 and 15 the pins I don't know I, I, I put them this way I found out the the white connector has tiny small letters on the back of it so number one is that pin right there and I'll mark that with a little blue line there. So I kind of said that, well, if the white connector is this uh, way, the black connector, I'm just gonna assume the same thing, that uh, the bottom one down here is also pin one on the black connector. That's, that's how I did that. So now I'll do this one. It's a lot more complicated. Okay, I've been pinning out the, the double connector here. Let's just see, pin 14 should go to pin 15 on both connectors. There we are, one and there, yeah. And I have made sure that there is, I hope there is no mistakes. Um, it comes to this. It's very similar to this one, so it's not as if they changed a whole lot of things, but there is a weird thing down here at uh, pin 6 and 7. On here, pin seven is not in use, but down here, pin six and seven goes to different plugs. So pin six is only connected to connector number two, pin 14, and pin seven is connected to plug number three, pin 14, or these two connectors. They're each called P2 and P3 which is a little bit confusing. So what I did here is pin one on the white connector goes to the black connectors in the way that pin one goes to P2 connection three and P, that, that should have been a P, it became a B, but uh, P3 connection three. So the same pin on both of the black connectors and, and same here, four, six, 11, 12, and then here when it gets weird the p3 does not connect to um, pin 6 and the same thing down here pin 7 does not connect to p2 and pin 8 pin 8 to pin 5 on both connectors pin 9 to pin 1 and so on i'll just zoom out and give you a picture if you want to if you should want to do this that's good and up here is the single connector thingy so okay that was a bloody lot of work I don't know if I mentioned it in this video but this connector was uh, I think I paid around 55 dollars for it uh, 400 Danish kronos 400 and something Danish kronos um, so if you really wanted to copy it well it, it could be a bit hard these plugs I don't know if they're if you can get those anywhere I'll just give you a bit of a close-up of them so that you can see them uh, be aware of some of the connectors has cut corners down here you might be able to see that there so it's not just a connector they have probably um, they might have gotten their own. If anyone finds these connectors, a uh, link to them where they can be bought, well, um, link it in the comments and I'll put it in the description for everyone else to get. So, well, let's, um, let's go mount this and see how that goes. I don't know if you're aware of this, 
but on the back of the lid of the server there's a lot of helpful information and um, this expander card here the 8 bay backplane with the expander card well it can actually be found over here you have the number for it right here it says backplane two and a half inch SATA eight hot drives with expander card and you get the number here this is the IBM number this one has a different number because that's probably produced um, after Lenovo took over these uh, servers it's a bit messy in that uh, time area when both companies had their numbers on the servers it's still a bit of a mess sometimes this might be very expensive as a Lenovo piece and you can get it next to nothing if you just find the IBM number for it and the other way around I got this one as a Lenovo fairly cheap and if you go search for it for the IBM well the prices might be $500 where I paid $100 so that's a nice little trick too but there is the difference there is also the backplane without the expander card you can find some of the cables cable two and a half inch HS HDD configuration cable I don't know if the split cable is here anywhere here it actually is 81 y6782 that's the same number as this cable has down here the frequently used uh, replacement number focus right there so I could actually just have gone in on the back of the server and found what number to search for in um, on Amazon or eBay or Aliexpress or wherever you buy your pieces okay so here is a view of my Lenovo X3650 model 4 and there's a lot of room behind the hard drives here for this expansion card which is awesome room to work in cool we don't have to do much of a change move this card over here put the expansion card here plug some cables in exchange this power cable that goes down here and yeah that's about it um, I might be able to do that without taking all of this apart I don't know if we should try that otherwise I'll have to take the graphics card up and all that good stuff well, I think we'll be lazy and just see if we can do it if I can unplug the power connector here it looks as if that's manageable and uh, well yeah let's let's see how far we get I have turned the server off I'm gonna remove a couple of fans or all the fans that would be in the way this one too okay so now we can get to the power plug and take that out so well if you um, if you bought an extra backplane you might actually be able to to just reuse the plugs from from that one so so far so good we need to take this one out and um, there's a little signal cable here for the backplane I don't know if that's something that needs to be there HD BP configuration one yeah. and I need to take the pop the drives out otherwise I will not be able to remove that backplane There, I'm a bit worried about this tiny little cable here because I don't think I have a another one of those. I'll have to go check that. Okay, I'm back after a <coughs> disappointing break because I am. Um, I figured out that I still need a cable. This cable. Uh, that goes this is the control backplane cable I'm not sure what it controls but it they call it the control cable and that um, this one is for for this one I actually have to take this out and uh, use a control cable that also comes with this one just like it needed a splitter cable for the power it also needs a splitter cable for the controller and I haven't got that and it's all information that I could have found on the back of the lid if I had looked. So these are the 
things that I need for this expander. This is the expander card itself. Down here is the, that's the cable that I need. I need an 00 D 3049 cable and that's two and a half HS HDD config for 16 hard drives. Uh, the one I just got was this one. That was the power cable for 16 hard drives. So I need to go find that one. And um, well, I have been looking on the internet, but if anyone finds a good one, uh, it also has another number. I'll try and place that somewhere over there. Um, well, I need that. Well, so in this video, I didn't really get very far. I got the cable that I needed just to find out that I need another cable, which is really, really irritating because I thought that I would be done in this video. So uh, yeah, didn't do my homework good enough. So I hope that will help you to do your homework better and know what you actually need when you go get these pieces. Um, I don't think I'm gonna put this in. I'm gonna leave it together with the with the expander card so that we can do a proper video next time when I get this cable but please in the comments if you wouldn't mind helping me finding that missing cable for a decent price I have been in at the computer and they are expensive or can be so um, well well thank you very much for watching my videos do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me um, eventually getting this up and running have a really nice day bye bye